Hi. Again for today, we are still under Chapter 7, uh, Stock Dividend Split and Write under Investment Management Subject, uh, FIN358. So, uh, previously we have discussed on uh, Stock uh, Dividend uh, prior to um, uh, this video. So, we have uh, actually uh, uh, found out what does it mean by the Stock Dividend. So right now, uh, we are going to continue on stock rights. Okay, so rights are uh, a kind of option. So it is being defined as uh, option but not obligations. Okay, to subscribe to additional new shares of the of stock at a set of specified price, which may be offered to some or all the shareholders. So it's a kind of uh, if you have a uh, right, uh, it means that you are uh, being given a kind of opportunity to subscribe to any and uh, additional new shares or stocks from the company at a special price or at a specified price, being determined by the companies itself. Okay, so the the this uh specified price is also called subscriptions or exercise price so bear in your mind about this subscription and exercise price okay so this is the price uh, whenever the uh, rights holder able to use the price uh, to uh, subscribe or to purchase the additional new shares so we call it as subscription or exercise price why because we are going to use these terms later on in our calculation part. Okay. So, usually the uh, specified price is set below the market price. So, maka kebiasaannya specified price ni kita akan um, uh, lihat uh, ianya ada, biasanya adalah di bawah daripada market price. Okay. Uh, below than the market price. So, this privilege uh, giving uh, current stockholders the first right to buy shares in new offering. Thus, will maintain their proportionate ownership interest. Or this one is also called as preemptive right. Okay, apabila uh, shareholders ini memiliki preemptive right, mereka akan dapat hak untuk membeli the rights to buy the share, uh, especially when the shares is being uh, newly issued apabila share tersebut baru diterbitkan um, so mereka dapat membeli share tersebut okey pada harga tertentu normally at the right uh, if you, they are using the right stock right so they can buy at the specified or subscription price earlier okey normally which is being offered to them below the market price Okay, below the market price. Okay, so let's take a look on this situation. Suppose the investors owns 3% of XYZ company. If the companies issue 5,000 uh, additional new share, so the investors may receive the stocks right offering or a chance to buy 3% okay, of the new share. So if this 3%, if we times equal to 150% shares. Okay, so this investor could actually buy 150 new shares okay, from uh, the whole uh, 5,000 shares available. Okay, so itu maksudnya uh, if let's say they stated that the, the investor owns uh, 3%, okay, so uh, with the stock rights offering, they can buy up to this 150 shares okay, of the new issue. So, this right, hak ini membolehkan investors to purchase new common stock at a subscription price. Jadi, membolehkan investor tersebut membeli share baru tadi pada harga subscription price. For a short time only, yeah. so... Uh, usually, no more than several weeks only being given to the investors. Hanya dalam masa yang singkat sahaja. So, if they want to buy, 
they must use uh make use of make use of the decisions right away lah only in a few weeks tak boleh tunggu terlalu lah lama okay normally cash uh strap companies can turn to write issues to raise money when they really need it okay so ini bermaksud Uh, company yang kekurangan cash eh, yang memerlukan dana atau cash yang uh, agak cepat uh, mereka boleh menggunakan right issues ni untuk raise money so bila mereka uh, uh, keluarkan ataupun issues uh, stock right investor akan berbeli dan ini membolehkan mereka untuk mendapat some uh, money in return lah okay Uh, so, this is a good cash for the company untuk raise fund at the same time. But, uh, for the investors, until the date at which the new shares can be purchased, shareholders may trade the rights on the market the same way they would trade the ordinary shares. So, uh, sementara mereka menunggu uh, tempo untuk exercise right tersebut, Uh, sebenarnya di kalangan investors dan shareholders ni mereka juga boleh uh, trade uh, this right menjual hak ataupun right ini kepada investor-investor lain yang berminat. Okay, so the right issued to a shareholder have a value, thus will compensating current shareholders for the future dilution of their existing share value. Okay. So, right yang ada ni boleh uh, membantulah uh, para pelabur tadi uh, sekiranya berlaku dilution of the share value. Sekiranya berlaku kejatuhan harga saham uh, yang disebabkan oleh apa? Okay, previously we have learned dalam stock dividend sekiranya uh, share bertambah harga saham akan berku. Rangan. Yes, so sama lah dekat sini. Sekiranya new shares being issued, uh, jumlah share bertambah dan biasanya stock price akan mengalami sedikit kejatuhan ha, harga. So future dilution of their shares ni akan uh, boleh uh, covers lah. Alright. So itu yang berlaku dalam stocks, right? Okay. So kita juga ada a few uh, theoretical part on the similarities and differences uh, antara stock dividend dan juga stock split. Okay, this one. Okay, the what are the uh, differences and what are the uh, similarities okay, antara stock dividend dan juga stock split. Okay. Previously, uh, kita dah belajar uh, also learned about stock dividend kan? Iaitu dividen dibayar bukan melalui cash tetapi dibayar dengan cara pemberian stock atau pemberian saham iaitu additional share kepada pelabur kan. Okay. Dan and then we also have stock split. Stock split adalah apabila companies tu nak create new share, nak tambahkan lagi jumlah share dia split over kan dia punya share. Okay. So, uh, contoh 2 for 1 split bermaksud kalau company tu uh, sekarang cuba pecahkan jumlah share yang dia ada. So, if they split 2 uh, for 1 dengan nisbah 2-1 bermakna setiap shareholder akan dapat satu uh, new share. Okay. Kalau 2 for 1 maknanya meaning once if you hold one stock one unit of stock you will get another one uh, so uh, kalau kita hold satu unit kita akan dapat du dua selepas stock split itu kalau two for one okay they have a, a few types of uh, splitting uh, numbers like two for one three for one okay tapi uh, unitnya kalau two for one yang basicnya adalah satu unit satu unit yang you hold you akan dapat satu lagi okay a new one right itu yang dimaksudkan dengan stock split lah uh, sebab kenapa they split normally the companies wants to actually uh, uh, raise more fund and also uh, to increase their uh, uh, number of common stock outstanding so let's take a look uh, kita tinggalkan stock right tadi sekejap 
on the similarities and differences of stocks dividend and stock split. Okay. Persamaannya adalah total net worth remain unchanged. Bermaksud uh, jumlah uh, net worth antara uh, uh, these companies akan kekal sa sama walaupun berlaku stock split ataupun stock dividend. And number of shares outstanding sama-sama akan in increase. Tak kira lah whether the company decide to giving uh, to give stock dividend or to split over their stock, jumlah share akan bertambah. And ketiganya, the uh, the third similarities adalah both of these uh, two types also reduce the share prices. So kedua-duanya akan uh, mengurangkan Uh, harga saham yang sedia ada. Sebab kenapa kurang? Uh, of course because of the uh, in, uh, increasing number of common stocks outstanding. So bila makin banyak share yang ada, uh, of course dia punya price akan mengalami sedikit uh, kejatuhan lah. Akan berkurang sedikit. Okay. So apa beza? So tadi adalah similarities yang mana total net worth tak sama Number of share outstanding akan bertambah. Okay. Uh, Kedua-duanya mengurangkan harga di harga share di pasaran. Okay. So, apa perbezaan kedua-duanya? So, what are the difference? Pertama, par value of stock dividend akan kekal sa sama. Par value dia akan kekal sama. Tetapi, untuk stock split, par value dia akan berkurangan. Okay. Biasanya, will be lower. And uh, ini kita akan lihat nanti bila kita buat uh, calculation part. So, you akan nampak the differences between the stock dividend dan juga stock split. Second adalah value of share stock dividend uh, will be increased. So, investor akan enjoy more capital gain. Tetapi, value of share untuk stock split remains unchanged. Tidak berubah. Yang berubah hanyalah bilangan stok sahaja. Tetapi value share kekal sama. Untuk stok dividend, value share dia akan bertambah. Okay, apabila company mengumumkan stok dividend untuk dibayar kepada shareholders, value of the share stock normally akan increase. Tidak sama untuk stock, stock split dia akan kekal sama. And total retain earnings dividend, uh, total retain earnings stock dividend will be reduced. Okay. So, dan jumlah uh, untuk stock dividend, total retain earnings akan berkurangan. Okay. Kenapa? Most of the earnings sekarang sudah ditransfer dalam bentuk shares uh, ataupun dalam bentuk common stock. So, total retain earnings yang they have before the stock dividend Uh, akan uh, mengalami kekurangan atau berkurangan once they have changed to the stock dividend. But untuk stock split tidak ada sebarang perubahan. Total retain earnings remain unchanged. Kekal tidak berubah. Okay. Uh, untuk stock dividend need a journal entry for accounting purposes. Memerlukan journal entry yang khas untuk accounting purpose. Especially uh, in the uh, financial annual report. So, this is uh, this is a kind of need to be done for stock dividend. But, no need to enter any journal entry for stock splits. Okay, yang bertambah hanyalah jumlah share. Tidak ada kena-mengena. Lagipun, total retain earnings semuanya tidak akan berubah dan kekal sa sama. So, this is the, these are the differences lah. Between stock dividend and stock split. Okay. So, the first thing uh, kita akan go through adalah valuation of stock dividends. So, I'll uh, uh, explain in the next video. Thank you.